I like to point to the fact that for so long, um, people thought about health as being based on an individual behavior. Um, it was how much you ate, you know, it was the food pyramid of you don't eat fats as much as you eat grains and, you know, you'll be healthy. And I, th I think that uh, the statistics have really shown that people are continuing, you know, bad health is continuing to get worse and, and that approach wasn't working. And so what we began to ask ourselves was, well, what's missing? Be you know, if this isn't working, what's going on and what's different about our communities now than it was, you know, 15 or, you know, or 20 or 50 years ago. And so the built environment, I think, really started to be looked at as not necessarily at all a silver bullet to help solve the health crisis, but as a, a missing link in this whole um, overall idea of how we can have a healthy society. So for a community that wants to think of itself as being healthy, I think, you know, there are all types of different communities. And it's easy to point to an urban neighborhood and say, oh, that's a healthy neighborhood because it has sidewalks. But I don't think that that's necessarily true. I think um, each community needs to really evaluate its own unique strengths and weaknesses, and then it can respond to that based on well, you know, what situation it's in. So there's not one solution to it, but in general, if, if you look at communities that have access to um, walkability, you know, if it's safe to go leave your house and walk somewhere, um, that's a, a good trend towards a healthy community. Uh, if you have access to local food or some type of food, and if it's also access to local food, that can be a great thing because um, if you can feed yourself and it's within uh, a close distance to you, that's a healthy um, aspect. Uh, transportation, um, having a car is great and being able to, the divert, you know, the, being able to get out and, and use the car but it's also potentially good to have access to other types of transportation. And that can be walking, that could be biking, that can be public transit. Uh, people that use tr public transit actually uh, tend to walk a lot more than people that are using their cars because they either have to walk to get to the bus or at their destination walk somewhere else. So those, those are some of the big kind of factors that the built environment plays in our health.